Ethiopia is very important uh, from a growth story. We can see it's growing it's significantly above most of the African sort of countries. And also it's a very nice and friendly country. And uh, from the construction point of view, it's a big construction site, Addis, and where you need lots of cement. The economy, the economic development of Ethiopia is quite diversified. Uh, service sector, construction, and mining and agriculture. What we have seen over the last, uh, I would say, 12 years is the growth of each sector on its own right. It's contributing net to the economy, currently in excess of half a billion in each sector. So the combined GDP of Ethiopia, um, if you have done your figures, is currently is about $55 billion. And we are on target to become a mid, uh, by 2020, a mid-income country. Construction sector alone currently contributes about 15% and it will grow to about 20 or 25% in a very short uh, period of time, not more than 10 years. That means there is a demand for all sorts of uh, construction materials, including cement. Besides this, the infrastructure development, both by public sector and the private sector, uh, the growth, compounded growth that we see in forecast is in excess of 16 to 17% per annum. So the demand for cement, the apparent demand, not the suppressed demand, which is still untouched, will grow by, um, annually by 20% minimum. Habesha Cement was started in September uh, 2008. We are planning to have a 1.4 million tons per year capacity cement plant very soon. It has got many shareholders, it is a share company. We managed to raise nearly uh, half of the capital required to establish the company, but it was not enough. Then we invited Pretoria Portland Cement and uh, IDC to join us in this uh, effort. After the due diligence, they, are, they were convinced that there is a big potential for growth here, there is a big potential for cement here. In terms of export potential, we can say that there is a demand in the region, particularly South Sudan, Northern Kenya and the main Somali area. So there is a big potential to expand in the neighboring country also. Habesha Cement is really a very unique company. To begin with, this is the only company in Ethiopia with 16,500 shareholders, so it is mass-based. And I think uh, it is precisely this uh, unique uh, uh, feature of Habesha Cement that also attracted prominent companies like PPC to uh, really participate in Habesha Cement. And I think that's the right decision because uh, there is this so-called trickle-down effect in terms of benefits, profits, and participations uh, to the broad mass is very, is extremely exciting, not only for the shareholders, for the 16,500 shareholders, it is also going to bring wealth and growth and development and technological know-how for the area where this company is being built. In our construction strategy, what drives our construction is each construction has to add value to the nation. So uh, when you see actually in the country here in Addis or anywhere, if you see uh, city development, it's not actually for us the actual development. The actual development is the change in our people's life. So uh, this is really a very good vision where we are actually doing a lot.